Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting closer and closer to the Ashanti King's Palace Museum. Palace Museum. This museum has played host to a lot, a lot of people, not only from Ghana, but also outside that country. Um, on your left hand side, we have a zoo there, a zoo, and then uh, just, just look on top of the trees. <clears throat> you can see the fruit bats. The fruit bats are animals that, you know, they don't come out in, during the day, but they come out during the night. They come out during the night. And these fruit bats, traditionally, they believe that it's an animal that some people in the Ashanti Kingdom, they don't eat them. Why? Because it is believed that when a certain group of people migrated into this area, they were led by the bats. So the bats became their totem. The bats became their totem. So they don't kill bats. When you go to a certain areas, Falcon is their totem. When you go to a certain area, that is the clan. When I say area, I'm talking about the clan. We have various clans. And every clan has a totem. And those totem, they've taken to the character of that animal. Some have a lion as their totem or as their clan head and this totem the character that that totem has depicts the people themselves for example when you come to oyoko family or the oyoko clan their totem is the falcon and falcon is believed to be a peaceful animal which doesn't harm but always is an animal that is full of wisdom and directions knowledge and understanding whilst he holds on onto his power so the royals where the Ashanti unit comes from, they are the ones that holds that totem, the falcon totem. Ashanti kingdom, or the loving kingdom, are people that their tradition has not been idolatrated unlike the ones at the coastal area. They hold high esteem their tradition from generation to generation and it's like Pasatom. Yesterday we saw Al Haji where we went and did a stamping. Remember I told you that their great great grandparents were doing that and it was passed on and on and on and on got to his father and now his father also has passed on the same profession the same business to al haji the one who took us through how to get the dial they are so business like in such a way that the family is moved in a way where when you are well to do, those who are poor in the society or in the family, you can go and pick your sister's son, your sister's daughter to come and stay with you. And while staying with you, you are taking care of his education and everything. Then you also teach him your profession. You might be a lawyer, 
person will come out as a lawyer. You might be a trader. So can you imagine that if a child of nine years stays with you and you are a trader, after school he comes to help you to do the trading. The weekend he comes to do the trading with you, help you to go through all this. At the age of 18, 19, 20 years, he has been in apprenticeship for 14 years, which this person know how to navigate his way out. He doesn't need anything else. Because he has gone through apprenticeship for 14, 15, or 13, 12 years. If you're a seamstress or dressmaker, he has gone through apprenticeship and he's a master at the age of 18, 19, 20. The person is a carpenter. The same thing. So no one is idle. I am one way. Huh? Go street. I don't know. We don't want to open. We're going to be careful. Okay, now we are 